All right. Here's today's. Sebastian's. Uh, I chose one above ground now so we don't have any problem with water. Because <laughs> water's going to be a problem for a few couple of weeks now. Oh, watch out where you're going. Right, there's the frigate. Oops. And there's the base. Ooh. Okay, we'll go down there first. Alright, let's land. Looks night time. So we'll do a quick night view when we get here. Okay, I had to move it up to the ship to take the lights on the second level because I couldn't see up far enough. Right, so there's two platforms for landing here. And there is the power supply. I don't know what it's going to be. Let's have a quick look. Because as it's on a grid, there's no need for the batteries. But there you have it. So about half of what we want. Get back up. Oh, actually, before we get back up, let's have a look underneath. Um, I could... Do they work now? Have we solved these things up before? Or have you got to put one of those in between? Yeah, probably. Also, it makes more sense, doesn't it? There's that bit. So the main build is held up by... Small walls. And glass floors. How oh, nice. Glass floors. Right, so the actual stairs up is over here, but the landing pads have entrances as well. This looks a bit tight. Oh, okay. We're up. Let's carry on around then. Further around. Further steps up. Uh, these are bits I don't particularly use. While we're here, actually, we look at the roof. So, straightforward. Some more lights. Square lights. Cube lights. How strange. There it is. Simple deck. But not a problem. Right. Back in the door. As usual, we go around left, because we like going around left. Science station? No idea what that is. It must be a new uh, buildable item that I, as everybody knows, I don't bother with them. I don't build a lot of bases to look like bases. They just do their job. I don't even collect a, I used to collect a room for these as well, but I don't bother with that anymore either. It got confusing. We have a verandy. What's that? Oh, is it just a rock in it? Just a rock. So ships up there. Like well, the frigate. Back indoors. More bibs and bobs to add on. The teleport. Well, terminus. I still call it a teleport because that's what it is. There's the entrance from the flight decks, or landing decks. And there's the base computer, which we will take the uh, coordinates now. Alright. We can see through the floor. So we can see imminent death as we fall. <laughs> Not really. And another verandi with a propeller on the wall. And there's a light. They remind me of propellers. 
very strange, but okay. Middle of the room, we got the uh, terraforming image. Again, looks nice, but nothing to do with me. I don't use them. I can sit and look at it, which is nice. I can look at it. Pretty. Um, me to refine the uh, body thing. What do we call it? Yeah, changes your suit. So if you get your suit dirty on the ground, you can come up and get changed. Whoa. Okay, save point. Don't need to save. At least I hope we don't need to save. Shall I do it anyway? And the way we came in. So where is the teleport guy? It was that side, wasn't it? I refuse to go up there yet. We're going now. She takes us to the up. Oh, oh, I just walked off the wrong side, probably. Let's go down this side, then. Let's start down here. Here we got storage and windows. Nice to look out of windows. A big light bulb. Or heating panel. I don't know what they are, really. No idea. I'm thick as five short blanks. A plotting table. And a dead end down there. Looks like uh, roof parts. Yeah. And more storage. Just in case you haven't got enough room. Compost bin. Yep, it's flashing green and red. I mean, it's on, on and off. No, I don't know. Temperature made, I don't know. Buckets, not buckets. Hello. We've got a downstairs, which seems to be a collapsed floor. So... That's why it's got barricades around. And I'd like to show you the hole. That's nice, isn't it? Okay, so in here we can see Nip Nips and it's locked. Some switches over here. Uh, let's do that one. Uh, that one. Okay, that was a good guess. <laughs> right. Uh, which leads on to the Nip Nip Farm. Just in case. With ventilation. Look at that, big vents. Yeah, that's good. All right. Uh, red lighting, of course, is good for uh, plants. Small passageway. That's in case you're caught, they can incinerate you here. Get incinerated. <laughs> Alright, so we'll um, shut the door again. Yeah, it's shut now, okay. Um. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, well, yep. We could go that way. Hmm. All right, well, <laughs> sorry, but uh, there's another way round. This one hasn't got one. It's got a blue line. I bet that's the teleport cable, of course. Right, so where was the way out? Out oh, through the hole in the floor. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I just noticed. <laughs> A hole in the freaking wall. I don't know, there's a piping up there. That's nicely off centered. I like that one. And that's where we came up. We got a bank, obviously. We need a bank or a shop. It looks like a vault. It looks like it's put in a vault. Storage container. It is a vault. Why is there a. Are they always look like that? Yeah, maybe. Perhaps I'm just daft. All right. 
Light bulb in the corner. More red fluid. It must be uh, engine oil. Check in here. We got some refiners and some more pumps. Pumps! And of course, what you need on a frigate is tyres. Okay. <laughs> but then again, you've got to put them somewhere, I guess. With his spanner, you've got another save box underneath the stairs. And we're back out to here again. So let's back round to there. Back round to there, back round to there. Now, did we go upstairs? I cannot remember, so we will be going upstairs. Just so I can see if I've been up here, basically. Uh, so there's a little... Uh, that's a teleport thing, isn't it? Of course there is, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing it underneath. It's uh, empty in the corner. Another sitting area with the freezer. Sells ice creams. Nice little window to look out of. Can't see it. <laughs> Typical. Okay, window's never in the right place. And what do we got? Oh, can't get in. Where's the door? Oh, wait, door. Okay, here's the door. Ah, uh, it looks like a sink. Or, yeah, a sink. Or, or beer tap. A stool. The foot locker, obviously. And... Lots of bandages. No. Electrics. What's that do? Don't know. We can see through this window. That's a nicely placed window. Um, great. Now what's out here? Uh, what are you? Is this something you made up? I think so. We got these things which could be anything we could believe them to be. Plus they're cooling devices for the processor chips. Huge processors. Another drafting board. He's got his own microwave. Plus it's a telly. Uh, we got another one of these. So my guess is it's a separate item. A light bulb, probably. But who knows. Uh, is this the front or is this the gunner position? Maybe it's the gunner. Is that, uh, that's a spinny, isn't it? So, no point in sitting in that one because you bloody well can't. Right. Toggle power. Do I want to? Uh, wait, is that a door? If that's a door, why is it not? Oh, it don't matter. We look. I don't know what it did. It seemed to go to red lights for some reason. That was my impression. Red lights. I'll put that back in case I can't get out later. There you go. Oh, there it is. Wait. <laughs> okay, um... It's for maintenance, probably. <laughs> it makes sense. You've got to have some sort of maintenance. You know, you don't want a meteorite coming through. Just shut the door because it's a bit of a draft. And another terror table. Terror table. Sounds like a dinosaur. All right, out of that one, uh, we have this room, which is the... Uh, Meetings room. You all have a good old meeting. And there's the electrocution point if you don't like anybody's opinion. Seats, chairs, only swivel, so no point sitting down. Out we go again and back to there. So that is that. We is now down. 
Um, I'm hoping I've covered most of what I've been through so far. Let's go this way. We have the previous cache and all those light bulbs, which <laughs> is okay if you like light bulbs. And then we got way. And that's there. So now we come through the blue door. The holographic door. We have a holographic door at this side. Which is the landing spots. Oh yeah. No problem. And landing. I guess the other one is the same. I'm going to call my ship anyway because I need to get away. In a second, call the ship. And there we go. Uh, we have two more ups with observation towers. Towers? <laughs> windows! Obviously not towers. They're bloody windows, you fool. Okay. Fuse box and <laughs> heart rate monitor for some bugger. Don't know who's connected, it's not me, I'm already dead. And this is the other viewport. And there's another up, which leads to a plotting table. So you can plot everybody's movement while they're busy inside the ship. So you better look like you're busy or should get fired. We got on the top of the roof now. Let's just get down here. Get out. Oh, it's not out. It's here. It's down one more. Okay, down one more. Then out. Now we just got the roof to look at. We had a quick look at the roof. Various... Sticky out your bits. Make it look good. Straightforward, plain, simple roof. But what do you need in space? Not a lot. Up. And the rear end. Yep, never like looking at your rear end. And there you have it. We, I like, like I say, I, I thought I'd do an orbital one because I don't want to scrap into all the bases at the moment that have been flooded out and um, all the water damage <laughs> since the update, but I thought I'd do one of these. That's nice, it's getting night time again, so we're uh, going to be off. It's very well built, very well done. Looks like a frigate as well, I can imagine... Zooming around the stars on that. Pity we can't build our own freighters, but there you go. Let's see you later. Ta-ra!